everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our World of Warcraft Classic Let's Play. And we are back with our Hunter Maze, and today we're going to continue out here in Feralis. Um, I did turn one quest in, and we got some gold. Um, I was going to turn this one in, but I realized we have to go to Booty Bay for this, which might be okay because we'll get, I mean, their leather, and the ones we have on are male and have more armor, uh, but we'd get plus one agility, but also that... Uh, plus 10 strength would be very nice. So we might go and grab that, actually, at some point. Maybe not in today's episode, but I might do it in between episodes. Um, the other thing I did is someone in the comments, and thank you very much for doing so, pointed out, why don't you buy bigger bags? <laughs> I was like, that's a very good, very good question. <laughs> um, we were saving up gold for our mount. Now that we got our mount, I never went and bought bigger bags. So I got us a couple of 14 slot bags. I realized after I was already back out here that I probably should have looked for maybe a higher slot ammo pouch. Um, but for now, we still kept that ammo pouch. So we've got tons of room now, so we shouldn't have to worry about um, bag space as much as we were worrying about. There's a mithril posit down over there. It looks like it's up in there though, so we will... Just head through. Hello. All right, and what we're gonna do today is try to take on this thick Yeti hide stuff. And then we'll come down here and we'll try to do this natural materials. I did not look up what this natural materials leads to. I'm assuming it leads to something else. But uh, I think it'll be a good thing for us to kind of grind out killing those things. Because we're almost halfway to 45. So I think doing those two... Also, where is this one? Um, there. Where is that one? Oh, the Hinterlands. Cut off then. So we only really have two more quests out here, really? For that scroll... That alpha strike. <laughs> and, uh, okay. Alright, we got two more quests. Alright, these yetis are who we need here. Let's get, uh, ape out. Get that going. And get to it. Bum, 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 bum. I was reading chat a little bit uh, as we were flying out here and I noticed that someone was saying that um, our server's auction house has really high prices. I'm glad that they mentioned something because I was thinking that. <laughs> um, I, I was thinking that the it seems a little bit higher priced than what I remember. Stuff being like ore and leathers and stuff. And they were talking about how, yeah, because people know what we're going to need for each new content update. They know what people need for, um, you know, for, for raids. They know what they're going to need for Burning Crusade. So, of course, they're holding on to it and upping the price. Like, there's, there's just a lot of knowledge in that. That's really interesting to me how... That knowledge of how it's going to go kind of affects the economy. And someone said, yeah, I, I understand that, but I'm fresh on the server and it makes the leveling, leveling experience a little bit difficult when you're trying to do it for the first time with no other character on the server. And uh, I 100% agree. What are these light things coming down? Are those something that we should know, know what to do with? But I, I do think, like, if we were to level up engineering, or we were to level up, like, some some other craft, or try to buy, you know, um, uh, BOEs off the auction house, uh, it wouldn't be fun. It, it would be very, very expensive. And as a, a person that doesn't play a whole lot, that doesn't farm a whole lot of gold, uh, that's not really an option. So it does kind of create like a, a little bit of a 
barrier for entrance, I think. Which is just, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I'm just saying it's interesting to keep in mind because you, you don't really think about that. And I do not remember having that uh, in vanilla. And I started vanilla late. I didn't start when it first came out. I started right before Burning Crusade. I was not max level uh, when BC came out either. But I also probably wasn't looking for materials and BOEs on the auction house because I had no clue. <laughs> I, had, I was not trying to min-max. I didn't know what min-maxing was. Uh, it took me until ZF, uh, Zulfarak, to know that a paladin had a flash of light spell. <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't the best player. I was just kind of going. Like learning, learning by myself as it was. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. We've got four. We're gonna need ten of these. Okay, let's go in the cave, maybe. It's kind of dangerous to go spelunking. You get trapped in there when you're done, but it's cool. Like I said, we're very close to halfway through this level, which I'm happy about. Because I wanted to be 45 when we were done with Feralis, and I think we'll... Hoping we'll be kind of close, but I, I don't think we'll be quite there. Cause when it, what is Teneris? It's like 45, 46-ish, so yeah. Uh-oh. Chicken. <laughs> you okay, sir? I cleared the way for you. Escorting the chicken. Oh, this is where we, yeah, this is where we were for the chicken quest. Interesting. Cleared out this all the way in here. That guy did. Dang, dude, leave some for the rest of us, huh? Hello. Ooh, a gold vein? We'll go get that. There's that yeti up there, but I would like to mine. So at least if we have mining up. The other thing that we could potentially do is drop engineering. And, um, pick up, like, dinning <laughs> or enchanting, um, or something that, like, is gather-wise, maybe even herbalism. Uh, that way we can make our money, basically. All right, is this 200 mining? Awesome. We won't have to worry about keeping everything. We could just sell everything. Uh, the one thing I am going to look for is whether or not... Uh, hunters still used bullets in BC. I, I think they did. Maybe not. I'm actually not sure. Uh, if we still use bullets, we might want to keep engineering. But again, it's when will I have time to work on it, and when will we have the gold to work on it. So, the same could be said about, you know, picking up herbalism or or skinning or even in, enchanting. Um, but enchanting, you can just disenchant stuff and kind of level that up on its own. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure. I... I I think it would be easier to level up like a skinning or a, uh, especially skinning or an herbalism. Bum, bum, bum. And that way we can have gold 
Because you know what comes in a crusade? Flying mounts. <laughs> and they can only be used in the Outland. Um, so they can't be used here, but... I think you need a flying mount for one of the dungeons. Is it Architraz, maybe? The one that you fly up to the... The entrance for? I guess you could have a warlock summon you up, but... And we're not getting a whole lot of hides off of this, which is fine. We are getting some pretty good experience. Yeah, so I might do that. I might spend uh, a day or, or a weekend, some free time, maybe getting rid of engineering, getting some skinning or some, some herbalism up. The other thing is, if we do mining for VC, it's gonna be huge. And wasn't it Wrath <laughs> that? Herbalism was huge because inscription came. I think so. So anyway, the gathering profession is gonna be where you make your money. It's just what what do we want with our money? Mine is basically mount. I wanna get mounts. to get the uh or at least the riding level not like a mount collector or anything but yeah the riding levels um the other thing we could look at doing if we really wanted to get gear is buying some boes off of the auction house or buying some crafted things because i know there's a good helmet is that a plate helmet though there's some good, there's some good crafted items, basically, um, that you could get. And I don't think they're BOP, bind on pickup. I think they're bind when equipped. We shall see. We got a lot of options for ourselves. <laughs> And if we uh, had a gold profession, like um, mining and herbalism, the other thing we could do is get in on some of those raids where you bid gold for the drops. Uh, I mean, we'll be nowhere near where other people are. But that's is an option. It's just an option. We got a lot of options out there for ourselves how to get some gear when we don't have a lot of time. We have a scope on this, right? We don't. That's the other thing we could do before we drop engineering. <laughs> Or again, make the gold and buy the scope on the auction house. Unless the scopes are bind on pickup. Chickens back there. The chickens out there. Um. Alright, we are not having luck with the... Oops, I only have seven. 
head back out, and if we have to come back in here, we will. Hello, chicken. Must be going to do the escort quest. But they killed all the yetis out here, man. <sighs> Annihilated them. Wiped off the map. <laughs> um okay, we'll come back up for the yetis. I don't want to run in there because they're they're gonna be tag teaming them. What we'll do for now is come down here. And, um, look out for this natural materials quest. Metallic fragments and resilient sinew. Let's see what we have to kill down here. These things. Hippogriffs. Alright, we'll kill us some of these things while we are waiting for the yetis to respawn. Good, good, good. Off to a good start. A very, very good start. Man, and there's there are so many cool mounts that I and stuff that I want to get from Burning Crusade that I never got when it was when it was out. Like the um, that one hippogriff mount that you get from earthen ring or earthen circle the ones from uh the marsh area i never got that mount <laughs> yeah i was trying to grind out the reputation but it I was never able to quite get it when did achievements come that came with wrath right I believe those came with wrath. Cause there's also some achievements that we could do ahead of time. <laughs> Reputation achievements that we already know are gonna be in there. But wrath is like years out if it's if they're gonna do that one i'm sure they'll see how bc goes to determine whether or not they do a wrath classic We need 40 of those metallic fragments. That's gonna take forever. Okay, we'll kill this guy and then we'll... Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I need this guy. Because we just need one more of those splintered logs. And he's not as common as the other... So let's get him. All 
All right. There it goes. All the splintered logs done. Now we just need hippogriffs for the sinew, and uh, we could kill anything for the, the fragments, but if we know we get them off these hippogriffs, we might as well just stay down here. Yeah, getting them. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna head back up there, see if the yetis are respawned. We can at least finish that quest. We're doing pretty good here along the way. And what I'm hoping for is that the Yeti quest will maybe lead us to another quest. Because <laughs> uh, we only have two that are in here. The other thing is we could go back to Booty Bay. Turn in this chicken one. <clears throat> and I, I really don't want to start Tenaris until we're 45. We really should hop in a dungeon. Maybe I'll take a look at uh, LFG for a little bit. But here's the thing. Do I want to go into a dungeon right now? Not really. <laughs> I don't have time for a dungeon. Maybe we'll try to get into uh, Aldem and run. Um, over the weekend. Uh, and the, re the only reason I don't want to do it tonight is, um, I have family visiting again. My sister is up visiting, so I don't think it's gonna affect the schedule if you guys are watching these when they come out. Um, the fam being a little bit more quiet, it's cuz. <laughs> uh, I'm shy. <laughs> and uh, and they're out there, so. Just heads up. <laughs> bum, bum. And uh, before you guys say, well, you have family visiting, you're in here filming World of Warcraft. Uh, they're visiting to, oh, we gotta, we gotta, they're visiting to help out with my dad, so. Wow, uh, and X. Do you think that, I bet that sells really well. Curve blade, fur. it has no agility. No attack power, so it only have strength and stamina. It was not really fantastic for us. Um, that is. Let Let's see what that does. So we've got 219 ranged attack, 491 power. 1947. Ah, it's not better. Attack power is just overpowered. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna put that on because we would lose agility and it probably sells for much better than what <laughs> looks kind of meh. I was gonna say it looked cool, but uh, <laughs> not really. <laughs> No whirlwind axe, that's for sure. All right, but that did uh, complete our Yeti quest. So let's go turn in this. See if it leads to another quest. Uh, we could try the alpha quest again, but no. <laughs> the the answer is no. <laughs> Just straight up. Um. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hello, everybody. Must be world buff time. World buff or dire mall? That's a lot of people, though. For dire mall. That mithril deposit's still there. Beep, beep, beep. 
I, hopefully this opens up another quest. Uh, if not, I think what we'll do is we will head to Ogremar, put that axe on the auction house so we can see how much it is and how much we might get for it. And then, uh, might make some, how far away is the hinterlands? That's on the other continent, right? Yeah. So I think I have a couple quests to go over there. Hinterlands? We could do this. Steamweedle port. First Steamweedle port. Daenerys. Oh, oh, okay, I know him. Never mind, that's a Daenerys quest. Um. So, Hinterlands and Hinterlands. That's a Shar, but we're not quite there yet. Oh, okay. Turn this in. Greetings. Open up another quest for us. Those are actually... Those are actually better... Boots for us. And we could always reapply a, a um... Reinforced armor. And... Ah, improved quality. Oh, dang, dude. That's better, too. Bring 10 Rage Scar Yeti Hides. Rage Scar Hole. Okay. Let's put those boots on. Where'd they go? Oh, no. <laughs> it starts. Got weird-looking boots now. Where's the other Yeti? Up here. There's a repeatable quest. Okay. Oh crap, let's go do that, man. Yeah, hey, look at everybody up here. Making a lot of pants. <laughs> Nightscape pants. We'll do this yeti thing and then maybe we'll... I mean, we might head to the hinterlands to see what's out there. I know alliance questing in the hinterlands. Uh, we can also... Where do you get the mallet for, for ZF? To summon uh, Gazrilla? Where does that start? I know that will eventually take us to the hinterland, so we might want to stop in Tenaris first before heading out there. Up this. I should have just stayed on the road. <laughs> we're we're off roading it for a little bit. Are we gonna get up, be able to get up there? Hello! These little 60s. La da 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 da! Ba, ba, ba. There's no raid out here, right? It's just Dire Mall. Look, we got the same haircut. If we just follow the road, it will lead up there. Be Josh. Don't have enough gold for their... Their level 60, uh... 
Hell Horse or Dread Horse or whatever. Troll Petchy. <laughs> Bum bum. Rogue Veil Scripture. Ooh. Forty five. We could pick one up and level with that one. As an as another um another pet. I kind of want to get pets that are maybe 55 or above. So at 55, we'll look for another another pet. Because that will get ape up to 55. And then we can level ape. We can also level our other one. No longer kill this. <laughs> uh, our new one. And I think we're going to drop Scorp. I hate to say it. Scorp might be out. He's too low level now. It'll be really hard to level him up. Beepy doo, bum bum. Wind colossal. Okay, we want to go. I think back here though. Eddies. Bears, gorillas, bears, true silver. Are we at true silver yet? 200? Get out of here, you bear. I don't think so, so this might be a fruitless endeavor. Would you leave me alone? I don't even see it. It's probably up there. Or in the environment. <laughs> that, that's known to happen too. Okay. Yetis. Hello, human priest. Alright. Go get him. Ah, oh, they're 47. What? How are you pulling on me? Ape's gonna have trouble holding... Whole Negro. This is gonna be difficult. Let's do this. Sure, ape stays up. At least a little while. Let's have him hit a little less hard there. Different sting. Ah, oh, it didn't. It just missed. There we go. Okay, woo. All right, we gotta be careful. I didn't realize that they were three levels ahead of us. All right, ape, Um, you want to heal up a little bit? How you wanna, I need some food? Does that heal him? No. <laughs> Get that guy. He's four levels. Oh, and Ape's only 43. Um, let's try it. Might as well set this one. We're probably gonna pull off of Ape.
careful behind us. Again, this is not good. Jeez, Louise. All right, we got one. <laughs> we need ten more. Um. Can you feel me second guessing myself here? Because I for sure am. 48s are a little much for us. The 47s I think we can handle. But the 48s are rough. Um, we got some mithril out of it. <laughs> Now, this is dangerous to, uh, because someone just came through here killing everything, I think. So they can respawn on us at any moment. So, yeah, you. Setting us up for death. Wanna be partners? Oh god, okay. <laughs> yep. We are, um, we're too low for this. We're too low for this quest. I have decided. Uh, that leaves me the choice. <laughs> And I think the first choice that we're going to do is go back to Ogremar. So we'll we'll hold on to that because we got one. Uh, but yeah, we, we can come back and do this because I really, I do want that chess piece. Um, so our next choice is, should we go to the Hinterlands? Should we go to Tenaris? Might run down to Tenaris. But first things first, we gotta put this blue axe on the auction house. Hi, can I... No item- oh, take it off of that. Really, 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 really. If I put it up for... He really undercut, so if I did, um, 1350, maybe someone will buy that. Alright, cool. Well, um, all of that being said, I think what we're gonna do, it's a little bit early, but I think we are gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Um, and when we come back, I'll have made my decision about where we're going to go next. I think we're probably going to go to Tenaris, pick up some quests there. Um, we're going to be doing probably a lot of running around <laughs> and trying to, um, do quests that are on level and stuff that we can do, we can actually do, uh, without being in threat of death constantly. <laughs> uh, so guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the World of Warcraft Classic Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye bye everyone.